The scariest stories are the ones that are true. For a number of years, Christine worked at a daycare school and had many times heard stories about the ghost of a little boy who occasionally appeared there. For example, when a number of children were waiting outside for their parents to pick them up, he would stand among them, confusing the staff as to how many children were actually there. Christine was skeptical about these stories, until a friend had first-hand experience with the little ghost. On this particular night, Christine a friend and her husband were at the school helping to set up the kindergarten for the new school year. It was about 8 p.m. when the husband came in from outside and said that he had seen a little boy out there. He tried to talk to him but got no response. He assumed it was the son of one of the other co-workers, and he told her that she should keep an eye on him because it was getting dark and cold outside. The co-worker just gave him a puzzled look and said she didn't know what he was talking about. The man looked toward the door of the back room where the child stood looking at him, and again asked the co-worker why she would let her son run around outside in the cold and dark. Now a bit miffed, the co-worker replied that she had not brought her son with her. As the man looked toward the door again, the child was now gone. Sometime later, an alarm system with video surveillance was installed in the school. One day the director called in some of the co-workers to tell them they had something on tape, Christine says. They had actually caught footage of the nursery door open very slowly. Then close, without anyone being there. The time of the recording was 3 a.m. and the alarm never went off.